Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are doing well. Now, as promised, I have a simulator for the next two years and I've come back to show you how exactly these two years have gone down and how much of an effect uh, the two years I've had on, a, um, on the Indian football in general. So now, uh, if you haven't seen the first video, uh, you're going to miss out on a lot and you might not understand a lot of things. So, but this, uh, in case you missed it, this is just basically a fantasy league I have made. It should become a reality soon, I'm not really sure. It's basically the merged league where the Indian football leagues, the I league and the ISL have merged according to how I think they should be and according to how I think is also highly likely. So, okay, now that you're up to speed, uh, let's uh, go have a look at the Super Indian Super League, which is the first division. Now, if you go look at the Indian Super League, you'll see I mean, just this year's race, it's been so close. If you look at the uh, top, Kerala Blasters and Mumbai City FC finished both on 61 points. But Mumbai edged out Kerala on goal difference. I mean, nine goals different. It's just amazing how exactly they were lined up except the goal difference. Again, not what I'm focusing on, but being a Mumbai City fan, it's just a dream, man. It's just a dream. Um, so first off, the transfers. Now let's have have a look at the first two years transfers. Now if you look here, most of the transfers have been players going out. Uh, Jim Gavilan um, going out to Elche. Elche, I'm not really sure how to pronounce it. For 3.35 million dollars, which is at least what 3 30 lakhs, if I'm not wrong, or is it more? Oh yeah, I'd say 30 30 lakhs. You have Greg Nelson going to Vitesse, another great team, I think, owned by Chelsea. You have John Armstrong for some reason going from John George Telegraph to Churchill Brothers for 800,000 rupees. Yeah, you can have a look at all these transfers, especially Bobotov going to Moscow for 280 pounds. Just that, that, that's pretty, <laughs> that's pretty good. I might, um, but as you can see, there weren't too many transfers that went, you know, completely bizarre. That went up to at least 50 60 million rupees. Most of them were free transfers, and most of them not that, uh, you know, not that surprising. Except Sal sound going to North Carolina for some reason. Uh, no idea why, but it happened. Uh, you can see the highest, the most expensive transfer was just 3.35 million. It's not that much. I mean, it's 3.35 million rupees, but pretty acceptable. You see, in the next season, it's pretty much the same. More. Uh, transfers which have been including it includes you know players being bought but again it's pretty much almost the same you look at Davda Kise going to Jamshedpur you go to Duty going from um, Jamshedpur to Mamalodi Sundown I'm not really sure where they are from okay so he's going back to South Africa you have Chingan going to Jamshedpur uh, and no. you have Ran Rane going to East Bengal you have Stalin the young um, young lad, um, you know, I think he's from. I'm not really sure where he's from, but I'm pretty sure he's a, he's a really good defender, and he's going to Sal Gaukar. Gaukar, I don't know, do not, I don't know what to expect. You have Boris Singh, another uh, 18 year old, going to Mohan Bagan. Uh, that's pretty impressive. We have uh, C Kevin is going to East Bengal as well. So East Bengal look a great team. You have Mo Udanta Singh going to East Bengal as well. I mean Mohan Bagan. So the, you know the, the two teams they're shaping, they're shaping up really well. You have Miku going to Aki Aki Pathion. Pathion? No, that's the other team. Again, Greece team top you know, in the top division. So that's a pretty impressive transfer on the cheap as well. Seven fifty thousand rupees. I don't know how much that is. You have Amarjit Singh going to uh, Chennai, and you know except you have both going to Aizol. Um Again, really surprising. Lanzarote going to Real Oviedo. And um, the this thing going to Shivajians. That's pretty much it. Not many transfers that you know break expectations or make you go, okay, that's that's completely impressive. Uh, again, title goes to Mumbai City FC. Now, here one interesting change I did see is that Mumbai City FC sacked Alexander Gomez and the tran and the new manager. Lo and behold, was the Matos, the Indian Arrows manager who has just recently resigned. For some reason, Indian arrows in the game are Pylon arrows. Pylon arrows, I think that's a place in Goa. And 
they are not in the game mostly because all these young players have gone to separate individual ISL teams this includes Anwar Ali going to uh, Mumbai City FC and um, yeah that's pretty much it um, that's pretty I'd say that's a pretty good league pretty competitive uh, what does that mean to India yeah. uh, as you can see they've gone up to 83rd in the world ranking doesn't seem that massive a jump but in reality in the real life India is placed at 96th if I'm not wrong and when the game started India were ranked 158th or 156th I'm not sure so that's a that's a massive jump yes Steven Constantine is still the manager to the dismay of many Indian fans but that's it not even that bad is he um, so now let's look at the Indian Super Cup uh, in, in I League I'm sorry this is the second division and it shows Churchill Brothers, Aizol and Minerva Punjab going back to top division. Aizol and Minerva got relegated last year and they are going back. Tolling, um, Kinkre made it to I League uh, in one season and managed to stay there. So the main purpose is in the next five years the teams will kind of rearrange themselves into the divisions uh, according to the talent they have uh, and that's pretty exciting I think and that should be how realistically how it should be as well Kashmir FC um, get relegated Rang Dajir get relegated in Gangtok Himalayan disappointment really for me I'm massive uh, I really like Gangtok Himalayan but again relegated Hindustan just getting saved the two Delhi clubs just they, uh, you know avoiding relegation while well, United SC do pretty well for themselves but again, Minerva, Aizola and Churchill Brothers going uh, in the top division. Now let's take a look at I-League 2 and you'll see ONGC, FC Bobardes and Vasco da Gama going to the top league. Impressive, yes, but I can't expect Vasco to stay there and kind of develop a team. I didn't expect them to get relegated last year in the league, so not that massive. Uh, you know, I'm not that surprised. Lakshmi Prasad. Green Valley, Fateh Hyderabad staying there, Pride Sports, Ozone FC dropping to I League 2 and staying in 12th. Yeah, Kuwati FC in 33rd, Real Kashmir haven't picked themselves up at all, still 15th in the league, and Lang Singh finishing dead bottom at uh, 16th. If you if you look at the transfers, none of them, mostly one of them, uh, they have been a selling, selling league, mostly selling to the first and second division for on the cheap. Uh, most of the transfers have been on uh, a free, uh, even for I think even for I League, really. None of the transfers have been. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. So none of the transfers have been too big. Most of them have been selling. Uh, most of them have been them selling players, except Sanjeev Stall for some reason. He's come to Salgaokar and Boris Singh, really. Uh, but again. So if you look here and that's the finished 18th top goal scorer, I think it's uh, yeah, Kosai, Kosi finishing at 14th and um, Leo Costa, great, great Leo Costa finishing 16th with 16 goals in the league. Doesn't sound too impressive, but you look at, uh, look at it, comparing it to other players, you'd see it. That's pretty impressive. Now on to the Cups, the Super Cup, Pune, FC Pune City won it. Uh, on extra time against Jam Shedpur. Now, it is surprising, but again, it's cup. You know, no one knows what to expect in the cup. The Indian Federation Cup. Delhi Dynamos won it against SC. Oh, wait, it's still take place. Oh, it's, it's the afternoon. So, I will fill you in who wins it. I will let you know who wins it, of course. And the Federa- and the Secretary Trophy goes to Green Valley on penalty. So, that is great money for Green Valley I think if I'm not wrong it's about it's about 20-30 lakhs if I'm not oh 50 50 lakhs so that is great money and they can I think utilize it to the fullest and should allow them to pick themselves up and get out of um, the second division I mean the third uh, third division so that is pretty much it now if I have to Take a look at the Indians for the uh, Indian national team. You look, you, you'll see that a lot of these players, uh, for example, players like uh, you know, 
uh, and uh, Agnello Singh uh, doesn't make sense. Agnello Singh, you look at players like um, Nasim Singh. Yeah, most of them are youth academy players playing in the first team, and I think that's that's pretty impressive. You look at Dipendu Bharti, another youth player. Uh, you look at uh, yes, well, most of them are youth players and pretty impressive youth players to be honest. And Michael Susaraj still hasn't played for India, but is on the uh, is on the is on the first uh, first team list. He's there. He's just not being used properly. So nothing's changed in real life. Now, um, Indian clubs in Asian um, Asian. Uh, Competitions. Let's look at the AFC Champions League. Hold Al uh, Al Ain. I think the Saudi club. If I'm not wrong, UAE. I'm sorry. Don't mean to offend anyone. Uh, if we are to take a look at the Indian clubs, you'd see not a lot of them did do well. Most of them did never made it through the qualification. That's So let me just uh, go up there and look at the uh, picture details view group uh, preliminary round uh, that wasn't it so Chennai and FC are in the preliminary round uh, got knocked out 1-4 to Nasaf and well that's a pretty sad state to be honest uh, if you look at the second preliminary round preliminary round Nasaf again <laughs> he kicking out an Indian team and Bangalore FC this was 2017 and 2018 if you look at the preliminary round Izol FC getting knocked out by Al Sharota Ah, so none of them made it too far in. So uh, the Asian Confederation Cup, if I am not wrong. I'm sorry for that. Just a little mishap. So Asian, uh, the Asian Confederation Cup. Now, here is the real surprise. Guess who is the title holder? That's like East Bengal FC. Absolutely fantastic. I mean, <laughs> 103 million rupees as, uh, you know, as prize money, which I think is absolutely fantastic, and it's going to do it's, it's going to do them the world of good. You know, getting 103 million dollar uh, million rupees. You look at the other clubs that made it through. Kerala Plasters not doing too well. Uh, just go on here to basic view groups. Uh, we look at okay, so the Western Group A Kerala Blasters not qualifying. We look at so we go on to Group B. Again, no Indian team here. I think those are all the Indian groups. If I'm not, oh yeah, Bangalore not getting qualified. Um, so again, not the biggest surprise. Prelim uh, that Asian Cups, Asian teams did not do too well, but for some reason, East Bengal pulled it through. And one thing for me that is truly, truly fantastic. Goa qualified somehow. Jamshedpur did not. Again, if I sound biased, that's basically because I am a massive Mumbai City FC fan. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this uh, for this uh, for this video. I will report back to you after two years of further simulation to see how Indian clubs fare and how India um, fares in itself. Uh, you know, and how they are to move forward. If you look at this major teams, Mumbai City FC, Kerala Blasters. Um, I wanted to look at the under 18 squad, uh, under 19 for some reason, and you look at the most of them are who would you you would expect there to be. Uh, for some reason, this game does not 
have um, you know uh, Dheerat Singh in it which kind of surprised me a lot because I was I, I was trying to put him in uh, back into the team uh, you know into Kerala Blasters but I just couldn't find him and that kind of shocked me but there's nothing much I can do about that so to our, our Dheerat Singh fans I'm really sorry I couldn't do anything about it well anyways that's pretty much it and um, yeah i think i'll see you in the next video